Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Zerodin, and I'm bringing you some free-for-all gameplay. I promised you guys that I would get some uh, different types of gameplay other than Team Deathmatch, and here you go. Uh, I haven't played free-for-all in quite a while, so I really kind of had to um, relearn how to play it. Uh, it's a lot different from Team Deathmatch. Obviously, you don't have a team, and uh, what you really got to focus on is watching your back all the time because it's really easy to get shot from a whole bunch of different angles in team deathmatch or domination or pretty much any other game type uh... you'll have a lot of people watching your back you don't have that in this so you really gotta do 180 after every kill watch your back that's usually one of the best practices because the way the spawns work in this game it's just it's really strange it, it tends to spawn people right behind you so it's usually a good idea just to turn around check to see if people are coming and uh, that ought to save you quite a bit as you will see later in the video that's how I rack up a really quick blackbird and I uh, do want to briefly mention that I'm using hardline in this video and uh, normally I don't bother with hardline but it is pretty effective when you're using uh, the spy plane uh, all, all you need is two kills in a row to get a spy plane and Normally, I don't bother with spy plane at all because I don't feel like it's effective. And uh, but mostly because in team deathmatch, there are other ways. There are pretty much better ways to determine where the enemy team is. It only gives you a rough idea of where they are. And with ghost being so prevalent, uh, it's not great to rely on it all the time. But in free for all, uh, it can be really nice because it shows you where uh, people are surrounding you. And that's a lot more important than just knowing, oh, the enemy team's on the other side of the map. Well, you know, you kind of, you can already know that. Like I said, uh, with the with some of the tactics I've talked about, you'll have a much better idea of where the enemy team is without a spy plane. You don't really necessarily need a spy plane. And considering the fact that if you're playing on a team, almost everyone uses spy plane anyways. You'll get one if you have a decent team. But. Uh, I'm getting some pretty wild aim there. I'm thinking of maybe investing in uh, Harden Pro. I still haven't gotten Harden Pro, and if you don't know what the Pro effect does, it uh, decreases your recoil when you're shot as you're aiming down the sights. So that can be pretty nice. I could see how that would be pretty nice. I haven't actually tried it, so I don't know. But uh, here I'm doing a 180 after after every kill, and as you can see, it's really paying off because it's literally just like I kill one, spawns behind me. I kill another one, spawns right behind me again. So I just keep following that pattern, and uh, I've already got my Blackbird up here. So I do want to quickly mention uh, that the video actually got split because the host rage quit. So uh, I, I kind of had to pace the two together. If it looks like I just stop for a second and then I warp somewhere else in just a second here, you'll see it. Boom, yeah. Okay, so this is where the second clip picked up and um, picked up some guy's MPL here. And, uh, yeah, my dogs are doing work for me already, and, um, really there's not too much else to say. Free for all, uh, you really want to focus on Ninja Pro, really use Ninja Pro to its fullest. Uh, it's one of the few game types where Ninja Pro really is at its best because there are no enemy, or there are no team footsteps, so any footsteps you hear, you know they're going to be an enemy's footsteps which is kind of nice. It's also kind of bad because uh, most of the other good players will use Ninja. So you'll have to watch out for that. I mean, you can't rely on it 100%, but then again, you never really can rely on it 100% in any game type. So, you know, you got to just kind of do your best, and that is the game. Focus on counterattacking, focus on footsteps, as always, but pay special attention to turning around after every kill, watch your back, watch your flank all the time, and look at that beautiful glitch screen. 30 and 2, that is the game. Aug FFA. I'll probably have some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay for you soon. Peace.